problem with the nebulizer, I find it's just, it's deeper. It's better for like lower respiratory stuff. The problem with like the mucus that comes out of the nose, it's very tarry. It's very sticky. Right. And so what is the mucus? Well, you have one, just the mucus, which is clear, which is like your body trying to flush bacteria or virus out. And then you have the immune system interacting with the infection and then the dead soldiers, right. Of that fight, that battle are essentially all the green and yellow. And so the more dead soldiers, right. The more battle we go from like light yellow to, to yellow, to darker yellow, to green. Right. So the darker, right. And the, the more chunky the mucus is, the more there's an immune fight happening up there. And so the, what happens is you have, you know, not to, this is the best analogy I can think of is you have all these dead soldiers from the immune reaction, just like sitting up there and sticking all to the sinus cavity, preventing breathing, oxygen exchange. And also some of that can eventually go down the eustachian tubes, which connect in the back, which can go to your ear. So then you can start to get an ear infection. And all that, that dead debris can also become like fertilizer for like a bacterial infection down the road. So you got to get it out. So the problem with nebulizer, it's it's in a vapor form. So it doesn't have the ability to push the junk out. And so with a nice bottle like this, pressurized, you can come in there and you can really pull all that stuff out and push it out where you're not going to get that with a nebulizer. So your nebulizer is going to be, you can still do it. I still did it daily, but it's going to be better for lower respiratory issues. And this will have all the same stuff in it, a nebulizer will. The difference, you'll have the pressurized force behind it to really get it out. Nice. Push it out. That's Good the call. difference. And there's some like, I mean, there's sometimes, I mean, I won't get graphic, but like I'll blow my nose. I'm good, right? I'm good. Go flush it out. And then there's twice the amount of junk left behind after the flush that was, that what I couldn't even get out through blowing. And so you get a much deeper cleanse of the sinus cavity with this because a lot of times you're getting stuff out literally in this upper forehead area in here too. And so you're just getting a lot better release. Yeah, you mentioned NAC already, which NAC got banned from Amazon. So if you need access to it, uh, Justin has some on your store, I believe. I've got a glutathione NAC combo. I do not have an NAC by itself. What do you, do you have something to offer there? Yeah, we have some different products. Like in my line, we have a detox amino product that has more other stuff in it. I just have a straight NAC here. I'll go, there's a couple of brands that I'll go back before uh, in between 90% are out. So a lot of times I just have to get brands right now that I typically wouldn't get if um, we had a better supply chain with NAC right now. But yeah, we'll put a link down below. Anyone needs NAC, they can reach out to the office. Um, but to um, highlight back on what you're saying there, um, NAC is super helpful. And then also, there's a nasaline you can get, which is like a pressurized syringe, which is great. So you suck up the saline from the bottle. It's like a syringe. You put it up against your nose and you press it. That's helpful. Also, I find too, if things are really stuck, sometimes you need to go like pulsation. So you need to like squeeze hard, relax, squeeze hard, relax, squeeze hard, relax. Because I find it's the pulsation sometimes will free up some of this mucus that's really tarry and sticky. And so that can be very, very helpful.